Hey what's up everyone, in this new tutorial I am going to show you how to use the LCD display. So in our previous videos, we've used the serial monitor to display some information. But in this video, I am going to show you how to use this LCD display to display some information about our sensors. For example, you can display the temperature and the humidity using the DHT sensor. But I want to mention that I have the LCD display that comes with this module so this is called I2C module and it allows you to control the LCD display using four pins as you can see we have only four pins that we need to connect to the Arduino but if you buy the other one without this module you need to connect all of these pins it's about 16 pins that's why I highly recommend you to buy it with this module so before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon and let's jump right into it. So first of all, let's talk about this LCD. Basically, it stands for liquid crystal display because it's made of uh, liquid crystal. It's the main material of this component. Anyway, we are going to connect our four pins using this I2C module. As you can see, we have a GND pin that we're going to connect to the GND, the VCC to the 5 volts, and finally we have the SDA and SEL. Basically, the SDA needs to be connected to the analog pin A4 and the SEL to the analog pin A5. You're going to see a table on the screen because it depends on the board that you have but if you have the Arduino Uno or the Arduino Nano you're gonna connect these two to the analog pin A4 and A5 you could also use these two pins because if you look at the back of the board we have this one that is labeled SDA and the last one SCL which are these two pins but in this video, I'm going to connect the SDA to the analog pin A4 and SCL to the analog pin A5. And to do that, you will need these kind of wires, male to female. And let's connect them. You see that the GND is the brown wire, the VCC is the red wire, the SDA is the orange, and the SCL is yellow. So let's start by connecting the GND. And the red wire needs to be connected to the 5 volts and you notice that it is powered. And finally let's connect the SDA to the analog pin A4 and the SCL to the analog pin A5. Now to change the text of this LCD display we need to open up the Arduino IDE then we need to install a library that is called Liquid Crystal I2C and to do that you need to go to Tools then Manage Libraries then you have to search for Liquid Crystal then I2C and let's search for the name and it's this one, it's called Liquid Crystal I2C which is made by Marco Schwartz Make sure to hit the install button to install it and let's close this window. Then we need to include it using the include command. So don't worry, this is a comment. I'm gonna show you what it means, but let's load our library, which is liquid crystal, then underscore i2c and make sure to add dot h as well. Then we need to create an LCD object. The type is liquid crystal underscore I2C and let's give it a name. I'm gonna call it LCD. Then in these parentheses we need to add few parameters. The first one is an address. For me it's this one. So I'm gonna pass in 0x3f but if it doesn't work for you, you need to change it to this one, 
0x27 and that's one of the disadvantages of the LCD displays that comes with this I2C module. Basically you need to pass in the address of this module. For me it's this one, but it could be this one as well. Anyway, after that we need to pass in two more parameters, which represents the size of the LCD display. So the one that I have is 16 by 2. We have 16 columns and two rows but if you have another display make sure to check for the size then you need to pass it in so I have 16 columns and two rows and that's all what you need to create the LCD object or variable then we need to go under the setup function and let's use LCD dot init to initialize this object also we need to turn on the backlight so these kind of displays use some kind of light, which is called the backlight. We need to turn it on using lcd.backlight. This is a predefined function, which is inside the library that we have included. And that's all what you need to set up our LCD object. Now we can print something on the screen. And the function that is responsible for that is lcd.print and let's print hello Arduino but we are missing something basically we need to tell the LCD display the position of the first character because you could display the hello Arduino text at the first line or the second one we need to tell our LCD from where we want to start and to do that, you need to understand the index. Basically, we have 16 columns. The first column has the index 0, 1, 2, until 15. So from 0 to 15, we have 16 columns. And the same thing for the row. This row has the index 0. And the second row has the index 1. So we want to write our text, Hello Arduino, from the beginning of the LCD display. And the position is 0, 0, the column number 0, and the row number 0. And to do that, we use another function. And it's called set cursor. And in these parentheses, we pass in the column, which is number 0, and the row number 0. If you want to write it in the next line, you could change the row to 1. But let's change it to 0. And that's all what you need. Now if we upload the code, you will see Hello Arduino displayed on the LCD. So let's upload the code. And there you go, we have Hello Arduino. Now you could use this LCD display for all of your projects to display some information. Also we have a potentiometer. Basically, we could use it to adjust the contrast or the brightness of the LCD. So I'm going to try to rotate it a bit. So if you can't see Hello Arduino, make sure to rotate it a bit. And as I said, make sure to change this to 0x27 if this address doesn't work for you. Of course, this library comes with other methods or functions. For example, if we want to see the cursor, we have a function. Sometimes I say method, because if we have an object, then dot and the name of the function, like blank, this is actually called a method, which is related to this LCD object. Anyway, the blink function allows you to see the cursor. So let's try to upload it. And yeah, as you can see, it's blinking. Basically, our cursor goes to the end of the sentence. You could also display another text. You just need to change the position of the cursor using lcd.setCursor. Then let's move it to the next line. The column is 0 and the row number 1. And let's use print. And let's write welcome. 
and if you want to start writing this word at the third column you could change the position from here I'm gonna select the column number two which is the third one and let's upload it and there you go we have our LCD display and it's working so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon and I will see you in the next one